Hi guys, today we will be painting this painting, so let's get right into it. I'm just going to show you quickly what kind of brushes I will be using in my paintings generally. So most of the time I'm using this square brush, which has a hollow middle section, as you might be able to see. And um, this is really good for me to just block in the basic shapes, not blend everything in, which very easily happens with the blending brush. These here, it doesn't have a shape, so it doesn't look very defined. But I also use the medium hard brush and I also used the hard brush. Additionally, I usually use the light pen, which is great for fireflies. And most importantly, I use this here, the old brush for basic leaf texture, but also the studio pen to get the details in. Yeah, that's pretty much what I use. Okay, so first I'm starting with a black background. And then I'm going to be adding my trees. I'm going to paint some roots that are really big, chunky, and kind of define the earth around. I'm going to add some branches already. Yeah, this is one of the things I don't like about brocades. It just, I hate the finger tapping thing and uh, I just can't, <laughs> for the life of me, stop it. I've tried. It's one of the reasons why I use so many layers when I paint, because I'm worried that I'm going to undo all my hard work with one simple tap.
Okay. Now for the background, I'm going to put a layer in between the different trees and I'm going to put in the background with the dark green. We are still moving in the very dark shades of the colors we're using because in this, because we have a black, black, a black background, we are going to be working ourselves towards the light. To make it more interesting, we're also gonna add, I'm going to add some rocks. which always adds a little bit to the scenery. Using a clipping mask and a lighter color, I'm now adding some shading to the rocks so they stick out a little bit more while we're painting. Using the Procreate Studio Pen, I'm now putting in some grasses. As you can see, we're still using the dark colors. We want to get out of those eventually. So now I'm not using a clipping mask and switching to the studio pen, I'm going to start adding some lighter shades and colors. The studio pen here is really helpful because it can create defined shapes. 
and that's what you want. We don't want it to move into the background too much. Now I'm just going to quickly adjust the trees how I want them by using exactly the same method that I was using before, using the studio pen and adding different colors and using the old brush to add some texture in between, trying to get a bit of the right tree texture. I'm going in with the 6B brush or pen, pencil, and I am adding some lighter shading to the grass. Okay, now that I've shaded the trees and the grass, I'm going in with a lighter color and I'm going to be adding highlights to the grass where the light is going to fall. At this point, I've already got quite a good idea of where I'm going to put my, um, my little fairy lights.
for the trees, I'm going to add some foliage, foliage and some some leaves. So I'm basically blocking in the colors, and then going in with the old brush and putting the texture in, but also blurring the lines between the hard brush lines a bit more. I've pretty much got what I want. This is the basic thing and now I am going to introduce some light, some fireflies and some more details. And uh, that should be it then, to be honest. So for the light, I'm going to be placing it between the two trees, two tree areas. Okay, so I tried to add some light and I didn't like it at all, whatever I did, so I decided to leave it out. <laughs> Apologies for my hand being in the way at times. I am now adding some more lighting to the leaves and some more shading for the grass, making that a bit more defined and just changing the light bulbs, <laughs> changing the fairy lights position. But yeah, that's pretty much what I'm doing now and then adding my signature and that's it. The lighting changing constantly is due to the sun that comes into my little room where I paint and um, the curtains are yellow so therefore the light is a bit more yellow but I decided to leave it like this right now so you can see the actual colors. Okay, I'm quite happy with this result and I'll show it to you now in a bigger format. I'm really happy with the result. I hope you guys had fun and that yours turned out as you hoped it would. Let me know in the comments and tag me if you share it on Instagram. Thanks for watching!